How's it going, you guys? AZ Palio 21 back with, well, something else new. Franchise Hockey Manager 9. Um, this just came out tonight as I am recording this, and we are going to be doing college hockey. That's right, the Arizona State Sun Devils. Um, we are going to be in control over, and I am super, super excited about this. As you can see, we are in control of the Arizona State Sun Devils. This was just added for this game. And I'm super excited to see how this works. Now, I can't imagine that it's going to be super, 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 super intuitive. I'm just excited to see what we can do here. Uh, ASU, 97,000 a year, two-year term. Our owner, Steve Greenspan, that's not the owner because it should be Ray Anderson since he is the athletic director. Nonetheless, um, you will have 5,200 to work with and currently have a payroll of zero. Now, what is that 5,200 top quarter of the league is our expectation? 5,200 to work with in payroll. Now, payroll, what is exactly does that mean? I'd imagine that means staff, maybe? NCAA has no trade deadline, no salary cap, no salary floor. What exactly does that mean? How is, like, I'm, I'm guessing we're going to have to do some kind of recruiting, obviously. I'm not seeing anything in regards to recruiting. Prospect rankings... Okay. Cedar Rapids, Chicago Steel, Minnesota High School. Okay, development. Sioux City, Dubuque. U.S. Hockey League, Des Moines Buccaneers, Connecticut Huskies. Yukon Huskies. Now well, that guy's already in on the team. Wisconsin Badgers, Charlie Strammel, Adam Fantilli. This guy's already on this team. Who's this guy? These are all just high school kids. Bullies, G Jan Korek. Okay, these are all the junior teams, it looks like. System rankings. Where's ASU at? 61 teams. Bemidji State Beavers, let's go. <laughs> Lindenwood Lions, where is ASU at? Arizona State Sun Devils, number 25. Number 25. So not super terrible. Um, who's this kid? Michael D'Angelo, Dubuque Fighting Saints. Now, I don't like the way it says salary because that implies that there is some kind of salary that we have to use for the team. I don't really like that too much. I can't. I mean, it, it, it had to have been a lot to ask, you know, for just like a brand new like who's this guy consensus two star or five star are these quote unquote prospects that like the teams just have in the bank that are going to sign with them I really hope that's not the case or that there's like some kind of draft I really hope that you can actually scout and recruit that's what I'm hoping unless this just means like overall their program let's take a look at our roster um we have a reserve list active roster contracts two way forward puck handling goalie protected list injury list there's no waivers there's no trades or anything like that um training scouting now this is scouting now is the are the scouts that i hire really should be going for ability right what are my finances looking like three agents extensions transfer budget see that's the thing why does it say money for free agents transactions there is no free agents, no free agent center. Transfer summary. Please tell me that we can't just like transfer college players amongst each other. That would really be kind of lame. Unsigned. Are these unsigned as in high school kids that have been unsigned? Or my players that have been unsigned? Okay, it is what I kind of feared. They're our guys that we have unsigned. 
So they're guys that we have kind of in our back pocket that can be signed. Michael Felon. Or Phelan. I'm not sure what to feel about this. Laps player rights. Add to shortlist. So we obviously can't get this kid yet. Scholarship level. Termination clause. Junior U18. I don't really know what to think. Because there's nothing that's indicating that it, like there's any recruiting to go on. Like these guys all have high potential and that's cool. Like army, like these, all, we all have different potential guys on our unsigned list. What exactly is this? Are these all just guys on our reserves kind of thing? Like this Jay Harvey guy, can we just go after him? No. Contract. We just can't go after this guy. Rights. Why does it say rights to the NCAA team? I don't... I don't understand then. I don't get it. I really hope that I'm just missing something. I really hope that I'm just like... Because like we have a five-star guy here, right? Graduating, though. This is a guy... These are kids that are already on my team that are graduating. And then we got unsigned guys here. Reference is college. Signing deadline. What does this mean, though? Like, this kid's from Arizona. That's cool. But, like, what do we do with this kid? He's 19. Can we not just bring him here? Add to shortlist. Add to watch list. That's my thing. Two full stampede. I don't get it. There has to be some kind of scouting as far as prospects, as far as like recruiting. You know, that would be cool to me. And scouting the United States, Canada, Western Europe. Hmm. Priorities. Prospects on lead free agents international terms of the leagues. It says I'm supposed to be able to see their scouting abilities in each region, but I cannot see that. Okay, so we just signed a, a scout. I could price $20. I don't really know what to make of it. At least not yet. Just because I don't really know what's going on. So I have to advance and see what's going on. I'm excited for whatever this ends up being. Um, I just hope that it's actually a college kind of hockey. Where we can recruit players rather than, okay, here's a thousand dollars. Like I get NIL is a thing, but I feel like everyone kind of knows what I'm saying. Like, it doesn't seem like there's an actual recruiting kind of thing to do. Denver Pioneers are the champion. That is true. Leading all messages. Manager options. Scouting, training, lineups and tactics, roster moves, transactions, trades, 
staff players, reduce staff contracts, financial settings. Standings. Atlantic Hockey, Big Ten. Where's ASU? Independence ASU. <laughs> Free relegation, relegation, promotion, conference playoffs, wildcard league, milestones, the events. National signing day, November. That's cool, but what's going on? Set monthly budgets, October 1st. Preseason start opening night sent monthly budget budget. Woo! Uh, scouting. Draft. Midterm ranking, final ranking. Don't like how it says draft. Is the only thing. League notes. 61 teams, seven conferences, average budget one million. Playable, yes. Draft no draft, no draft, no draft. That's good. Minimum prospects needed none. 44 games. No relegation. Game rules. 17 to 25. No offer sheets. Buyout regular season. Unconditional ravers. So there are no transfers then. There's no way to actually transfer between schools, which is... Disappointing. Is there any way that I can... Is there any way that I can get this guy to come? I don't believe so. He's probably already gone to school. Add a short list. Claim player. Withdraw claim. Yeah, I don't know what to expect. So we're just going to go forward and see what happens once we get to that uh, set monthly budget day. Not really sure what to think. Okay, so this is something that's interesting. Freshman Tucker Ness has been ruled academically in ineligible for the upcoming season and will not be able to play games this season. Do you wish to give him an academic redshirt status for this season so he has another chance at gaining eligibility next year? If he redshirts, he'll be unable to play this year but will remain on your team. If you do not let him redshirt, he will leave your program and play elsewhere this year. Talent. I mean, his talent's not that great. Tucker Ness. Yeah, we'll redshirt him. Agrees to your suggestion to redshirt this season in the hope he can attain academic eligibility. Play game against Merrimack. Today. Okay, give me one second here. Options. Sun Devils. Scouting. Finances. Changeable on the first of the month. Staff budget balance. We still have a lot of money for scouts. Is what I am seeing. Canada. Let's go ahead and get us a scout from Canada. I'm 
Okay. Your current scouting value will influence your chances when... Really? Huh. So, the scouting, whether it's blue or not, will dictate how well we are able to recruit players from that area? Is what I'm seeing? Okay, so Wisconsin... Ideally, I would like to get someone who's good from that area. Let's go for that. Okay. So now that's raised a little bit. Let's see how... Okay. A lot of these teams have not really done a lot. I'm guessing they've all gone in, in Canada. Not really. Okay. Um. Finances. I don't really know what to think. I do not really know what to think. Um, Michigan, New York. Montana. I'm going to go ahead and get this guy from New York. He's going to increase it. Abounds. Abounds, abounds, abounds. This guy's from California. I don't know if I really want to get another guy from there. I want to go northern kind of states. Another guy out of Michigan. Mark Howe is not interested. Okay. This guy, higher scout, he's not interested. Guy from New York. Okay. Okay. So, rest of the world does not look super good, but I really don't care too much about that. Eastern Europe. Okay, let's let's get one guy. Did not cover a lot. <laughs> that did not cover a lot. I don't know how many of these scouts to get. Your current scouting value will influence your chances when attempting to recruit players currently playing in that area, meaning that if we get our scouting values, you know, say in Russia up to like 20, we're going to have a better chance at recruiting players from actually actually from russia i want to make sure that the united states is covered though is the main thing that's 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 what i really want to make sure of um this guy from montana mexican from montana who is an excellent recruiter of hockey apparently that makes sense virginia illinois not interested new jersey Okay. Massachusetts. Not interested. Maryland. Can't afford to sign him. Okay, so now. Okay, so now we have run out of. Okay, so we've run out of. Uh, we've run out of our. Uh, budget it would appear for the staff let's see what happens here um against the merrimack warriors First game of the season. Welcome to Mullet Arena. I'd love to see that. Preseason. 2,400 in attendance. National Anthem playing.
few highlights. Two minute minor for hooking on Dylan Jackson. This is going to be interesting. Let's get our boy Josh Doan out there. That's what I'd like to see. Quick sim speed, very fast, view speed, normal. Minute minor for Colby Bukes. One of their guys. Two minute minor for Liam Dennison. That's one of our guys, right? Oh, it's one of their guys. Oh, get it in there. Oh, let's go. That's a goal for ASU. First goal of the season. Love to see that. Timothy Lavelle, assist from Josh Joan and Lucas Sillinger. All right, it's definitely going by a lot quicker now. Into the zone we go. That looks like a good attempt on goal. That's going to be a stoppage. And immediately, it's another goal. Beautiful, right from the point. ASU up 2-0. Sean Duge from Tanner Hickey and Jack Jensen. 2-0 against Merrimack. Confused about role. Do you want to try explaining once again the role you want Demetrios Camusas to be playing in? If you do so, it'll take so long that you won't be able to remove any other satisfaction from your player during this intermission. No. Robert Mastro Simone. No. Yes. Okay. Josh Doan is still confused. That's okay. <laughs> All right. Five minutes gone here in the second period. Brings the puck up. And it is a goal off the rebound. Number 28 on the rebound. And that's Matthew Copperud. He's having a pretty good game. Right off the jump. Immediately off the one-timer. Second period is over 3-0. You want to try explaining once again the role you want Demetrios Comansis to be playing in. Comansis. 658-57. Not having a terrible game necessarily. Um, we'll go with no. Mastro Simone. Not having a terrible game necessarily. Judson does. Josh Doan. No. Hi Murchison. Murchison not having a terrible game. We're leading going into the third, but continue to play an up-tempo game. Should we try to kill a little more time by decreasing the tempo tendency by one step? Yes. Oh, beautiful. And that's another goal. For number 61, beautifully done on that one. Lucas Sillinger, his first goal. He's got a goal and an assist tonight. Two minute high minor. High sticking minor, I should say. Copperud having himself a good game. Player of the game for Copperud. Nicely done. 4 nothing. the victory to ASU. Copperud. Having himself a great, great game. All right. All right. Okay, interesting, interesting enough. I still do want to see how it goes as far as recruiting. Um, that was a preseason game. That's all well and good. I still want to see what the actual recruiting is. Because if it's just that unsigned list, where it looks like those are guys that are automatically going to come to us, I'm not sure if I'm a big fan of that because I, I got the scouting up. 
I got the scouting up. I just want to know what I actually do about it. Academic red shirt. Strong game for Matthew Coronado. Travis Mitchell. Season tickets. 2,300 season tickets have been so far. Reportedly satisfied with the total. Boston University sold some good tickets. Minnesota sold some good tickets. New Hampshire, Minnesota, Duluth. Nebraska, Omaha, North Dakota. Jeez. My goodness. UMass Lowell, Wisconsin. That's a, that's a big school. All right, we gotta sell, we gotta sell some more tickets, boys. Independence, independence. Standings. Conference league, wild card playoffs, pre relegation, promotion. League. Okay, so this is. This looks like rankings. Colorado College. Conference. Central Collegiate, Hockey East, ECAC, Big Ten, Atlantic Hockey. Alaska Nanooks. Transactions. Waivers? RFA offer sheets? Nothing. Graduating. Milestones events. Play game at Penn State. We'll see what happens there. Simulate through that. It's not the regular season, anyways. We won two nothing. Okay. Beat Vermont two to one. Okay. Okay, here we go. Now, Blake Fiddler, fifteen years old. United States, Canada, 1.5 ability. The best potential recruits currently available to us are Blake Fiddler. What do I do? Action menu, add to watch list. Contract. Still don't know what I'm doing. That's the thing. All messages. United States, United States, United States. These kids are 15. I'm not sure what else we are doing. Tomorrow we have Minnesota Duluth, it looks like. For our first regular season game. See, I don't want to do the lineups and tactics or the training or anything like that. I just want to sign players, necessarily. 
just want to sign players, manage the staff. Watch list. Blake Fiddler, Dylan Labrette, Carter Murphy, Jackson Lacus. We'll put those guys on the watch list and see what happens. They'll probably get, you know, scouted a little bit more. That's all I can really imagine. We'll go into this uh, first regular season game against Minnesota Duluth. We'll do both of those games, take a look at what happens in them. We'll react to it. And then we'll take it from there. Semp Tim Help Helpster. Semp. Semp Tim Help. Semp Tim Helpster. Okay. It is October 1st. 2022 NCAA season preview. Favorites appear to be Michigan, led by goalie Eric Portillo. General manager Topher Scott has built a squad that will be the team to beat. They can expect challenges from Jimmy Holthauser's Northeastern Huskies and Arizona States, featuring winger Matthew Koperud. Very true. Dark Horses, North Dakota, Reese Gaber, North Michigan. And Koperud, top defenseman, Zach Metza. Jackson Lacombe, Eric Portillo, Connor Murphy, Jacob Dobes. Top selling jerseys for September, Lucas Sillinger, jo jo Joss Doan, Koprood, Ben Cross, and Dem Impelter. Training camp. Significant changes they've noticed in your players. Ryan Alexander, Doge, Josh Doan really improved. And Comansis really improved a little bit. Timothy Lavelle improved quite a bit. Ryan O'Reilly improved. Professionalism. <coughs> Top selling NCAA jerseys. Lucas Sillinger's number 13. Jackson Lacombe from Minnesota. Michigan Wolverines, Luke Hughes. Um, contract. He is a New Jersey Devils player. Players need to be assigned numbers. Review changes. Langton and Dugury. No. Okay. Go ahead and delete those messages. Hope Rude, Master Simone, Josh Stone. Lavelle, Murchison, Semek, Joshua Niedermeyer. He'd rather play junior hockey. Because I know for a fact that he is ours. I wonder... Niedermeyer is on the team right now. Like, in real life, he is on the team. I'm not sure why he isn't on the team here. Not sure why. Okay. Let's see. Budget first. Payroll first zero. Don't know why there's an actual budget for the uh, payroll, because we should not be paying, the, paying these guys. Little staff expenses. We have a balance. 
still. Okay. Starting points, ending points. Changeable on the first of the month. Scouting supports. Okay, so... Three points. Team morale. Okay, six points there. Game promotions and arena operations. 3% bonus. Okay, so 6, 9, 13 points. I don't know if that's good or bad, what we're choosing. For your annual budget on July 1st. All right, let's get into it. All right, first regular season game of the season. Okay, that was way too easy. A goal against Minnesota Duluth. We love to see that. Uh, Sean Douge from Robinson and Doan. Beautiful. All right, uh, 11.58. Oh, nearly got it to go there. And that's another goal for ASU. And that is Koparud. Love to see that. Love to see that. Carter Loney, two-minute minor, Ryan O'Reilly. And first period coming to an end, Isaac Howard takes a penalty. Four on four right now. Uh, Minnesota Duluth on the puck. Cross ice. Ooh, looking dangerous. And I don't know why he's not shooting there, but he does shoot, and it's a goal. For Minnesota Duluth, 2-1 to one here in the first period. Isaac Howard on the goal. And immediately after, we have something going on. Please not an equalizer. Cross the ice. And uh, no shots. And that's going to end the first period. Do you want to try explaining the role Ethan Samaj needs to be playing? 51. If you do so, it'll take so long you won't be able to remove any other status effects from your players during this intermission. No. Astra Simone? No. I Jackson? No. Eddie Lagerback? No. Matthew Koprud? No. Alright. Beautifully done. Trying to screen and he does. Beautifully done. Five minutes into the go into this period. Jacob Semek on the goal. A 3-1 lead over Minnesota Duluth. Line change. My man's all by himself. Takes a shot. On the rebound. It's a goal. Number 18 on the goal. 4 to 1 ASC. We're absolutely killing him. Jack J Jack Jensen, Josh Doan on the assist. That's his second of the game. Astro Simone having himself a pretty good game. Um, this is a Majog. Smagaj. Smagaj. Having himself a pretty good game. Uh, Semp Tim helped her. Semp. Semp having a great game. Um, Smagaj. Yeah, let's go ahead and try to explain it to him. Spend several minutes. Still doesn't appear to grasp what you're telling him. Very well. Doe not having the greatest game. Tanner Hickey takes a penalty. And the game's just about done. Cleared away. And we're going to get a win over Minnesota Duluth. Let's just try to avoid any stupid goals giving up. And we give up a stupid goal. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Uh, Bodner check on that goal. Minute 30 left to go. They're going to send over in an extra attacker. 
and 13, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Uh, the shot and the empty net goal. Love to see that at the very, very end of the game. Tanner Hickey on the goal, and that is going to do it. 5 to 2, our first win of the season against Minnesota Duluth. Love to see that. Josh Stone, the first star of the game. Have another game against Minnesota Duluth tomorrow. So let's go ahead and just do that one, and then we'll go and end the video. I'm still very eager to see how the recruiting actually works. I'm, I'm guessing we'll have to see later on down the season, um, but it should be pretty exciting. American International Yellow Jackets. College hockey, ladies and gentlemen, college hockey. Uh, gaming habits. St. Lawrence coach and team's concern over Moses AC. Too much time playing online video games. Yes, we're aware of this. Love that. Love that, love that, love that. Second game against Minnesota Duluth. Beautifully done, beautifully done. Hope Rude having himself a pretty good game last time out. Josh Doan as well. Watch mode, all goals, so we're only going to see goals. Game stoppages, break goals, break penalties, break injuries. Use on ice decisions, requires full watch mode, no thanks. Zoom level, low, high. get it we're only seeing goals here two minute minor tripping all right here we we got some cooking here 10 minutes gone beautiful pass is that donor that's donor i believe number 94 and that is mastro simone actually love that his first goal of the season not too much longer later it looks like minnesota duluth is going to get one back. And well, that's just good play from them, honestly. I'm not really too sure what was going on. Just nice passing from those two. And they're able to make it happen. Old Spicer's first of the season. Interference by Wyatt Kaiser. One of their guys. Astro Simone, two-minute minor. Dillinger not having a good game. We do want to try to get him um, back into the game. Still doesn't appear to grasp what you're telling him very well. Boys might just be tired. And it's not looking like it's going to improve. It looks like we're going to concede another one here. Yup. We're, there we go. Down for the first time this season to Minnesota Duluth. Isaac Howard, his second goal of the season. Let's see if we can get that right back. I believe this is Josh Doe now. And we are going to get one back. 2-2, two two. number 91, that one is Josh Doan, his first goal of the season. Let's see if we can't get something else cooking here. Sillinger still having himself a bad game. Let's see if we can, he appears to understand now. Okay, let's see if he can actually improve what he's doing. All right, get it into Donor. Oh, take the shot. No, okay, well, we're going to score anyways. Love to see. I believe that's Koperud, number 28. Koperud, his second goal of the season. Doan's third assist of the season. We go up 3-2 to two on Minnesota Duluth, and it looks like we're going to increase it even more. Get it into Donor. Take that shot. Josh Doan, Arizona Coyote, by player rights. But he's still here with us at ASU Mullet Arena going crazy. Even get that empty netter. Sillinger's still having a bad game. And it is not going to be Josh Doan having himself a good game. Uh, Homer having himself a good game in goal as well. 94 grade as we take the first two games of the season. Love to see it. Mastermone, two goals, one assist on the day. And uh, yeah, we are loving life right now. We want to just go ahead and take a quick look at our standings. We are in the independence. Two quick wins over minnesota duluth have us at four points 
love, love, love to see that. Nine goals for, for against. Absolutely love it. Let's go and take a look at our actual schedule. We have uh, Bemidji coming up um, also at home. And then we've got non-conference. we got Colgate, Colorado College, and then one game, it looks like, against North Dakota. Interesting. Uh, next time I see you guys will probably be for that North Dakota game. We only have 44 games in the season. Um, you can see here Anchorage, Clarkson, Minnesota, Denver, New Hampshire, Boston College. And then we got a lot of other games. Alaska, Lindenwood, Alaska again. Interesting. Anchorage again. Longwood, I believe. And then that's when we get into the actual playoffs. So not super hard of a schedule, I will say. Um, Minnesota, obviously. Boston College, Denver, obviously. But I'm still excited for this season and to see what we end up doing. I'm more excited to see how the actual recruiting works. So that's still to be seen. Appreciate you guys. Uh, more um, franchise hockey manager to come with the Arizona State Sun Devils. Appreciate you guys. Have a good one.